Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Cross Studios, and I'm here with a new LEGO review, and I'm here with a Galaxy Squad set, set 70704, the Vermin Vaporizer. It's 506 pieces, and it retails for $60. And it is included with three figures and two instruction booklets. So let's take a look at the box. Here is a look at the front of your box. And here is a look at the back of your box of your box. Here's your instruction manual and you get two of them, number one and number two. As you can see in number one there's nothing really in it, just instructions and it leads to the back. And number two, you go through this, leads you to the end. And surprisingly there are no ads in these instructions, so I don't really need to show you much about those. So that's basically in the, the instructions, let's take a look at our extra pieces. In this set, you get some very nice and uh, extra pieces. You get this really cool antenna piece, I guess. You get another bone arm, I guess, or piece to hook stuff onto. You get a gold hilt to a lightsaber. Now you get two of these in this set. One of them's used on the little machine that the alien gets, and this one's an extra, so I'll be using this for a lightsaber, definitely. And you get two of these. Now, all these pieces are pretty basic, just studs, but you do get two of these pieces, new 2012 flat pieces. So, yeah, let's take a look at our minifigures. First minifigure here is the alien that the uh, guys are fighting, or humans are fighting against. Uh, he is sort of like a, I don't know what type of bug he could be, but he's a very cool looking bug right there, as you can see. He's got a really cool head mold really like that. Did a great job with that, with this effect right here curving up. Got the back printing right there. Take this head off and you could get a bit more back printing. Looks really cool. And when you turn it back around, uh, I have a complaint about this guy actually. He has a crappy gun. I don't know why they give all these aliens these just dumb laser guns or whatever they are. I don't know what they're supposed to be. They're just really crappy guns. I don't know why they give the aliens them. But really awesome figure. Also on the eyes, you get some specks of red. I don't think you can see it. It's really hard to see. Like I can barely see it just by looking at the figure without the camera. He's pretty hard to see uh, when you try to do that. So that's basically it for your alien figure. Let's take a look at the humans. Here's one of the humans fighting the aliens right here. He has some really cool front printing right there and some leg printing. He's got a green helmet. He's in a green suit. These are basically almost the same as the ADU guys that you got in Alien Conquest, except that they're sometimes different colors. There are blue ones, but there's a red one in one set. There's a green one, a blue one, obviously, and I can't remember if there's another color, but there might be, but I just can't remember. But uh, here's a comparison of an ADU trooper to him. Bring them right here. They're almost identical, actually, except for the printing, of course, on the torso and the legs. Even he has back printing, so they're almost the same, actually. When you take this head off, or helmet, you got his head and his double-sided head has this. This is what he looks like. This helmet on with his double-sided head. So that is what he looks like right here. He's a really cool minifigure. So let's move on to my favorite minifigure, last of all. Okay, so here is the last figure you get. He is a human, and this is one of the best people for fighting aliens I've ever seen. You just have to look at this. It is amazing. He has a great looking jetpack and armor and stuff like that. He's got black gloves. He's got the best head mold. That just makes this figure. He's got a crazy head mold. This is one head. There's no head under this. This is just one head piece. It's not a helmet or anything. It's just one head. So he looks really cool. You get this shield with him. That looks really nice. And you get this bazooka type of thing. And you get this new weapon piece on the end of it. It sort of looks like a needler from Halo, except a little weirder. I guess you could cut it and make it a needler. But it looks really cool. I think LEGO did a really good job with this guy. So let's take a look at his torso under his armor. Okay, so here he is without his armor on. He's got torso printing, 
on the back. He's got some nice printing back there. It looks pretty cool. I like that printing back there. They did a pretty good job with it. Uh, when you spin him back around, I'll show you the front printing a bit better. He looks a little awkward without his armor, I think. Just looks a little weird without his armor, but he still looks really cool. So, that's basically it for him. Let's move on to the set itself. Okay, so here's the aliens vehicle you get. You get flick missiles on it, which obviously aren't a very good feature as usual. You get this new piece that hooks in the flick missiles, though. That's what you're really looking for. A piece that hooks in there is new. You get a gold lightsaber hilt on the end of this gun. You can see how it pops off right there. Um, you got this really cool looking tail. Sort of swivels around so you can shoot behind him, too. It's really cool. Uh, the legs move around. I've seen them use this technique where they put studs and then the piece right there. I've seen them use this in Mirkwood Spiders too. Got this new piece on the end. It's not a great vehicle. These are stickers right here. Put the alien right here. Engine right there. It's not the best vehicle. It's still pretty cool. You can make it so it can like climb up walls and stuff. It is an okay vehicle. Not the best, but it's still pretty cool. So let's move on to the actual truck itself. Okay guys, so here's the truck itself and it looks really awesome. I just have to say that to start out. Give you a short 360 of it. It drives really well on smooth floors or carpet. It works really well. These, they sort of use the old turbo tank wheels except modified them a little bit. From the 2006 cloned turbo tank, they use those wheels in this. Except they modified them so it looks a little better. Uh, if you're wondering about this on the outside, these pieces right here, those are stickers unfortunately, but the stickers I have to admit look really nice on this, which is crazy to admit, but the stickers actually look nice. So uh, I'm going to show you the first feature on the front here. Right here you can see got a little red dot right here, some stickers too, but this feature is really cool. You can open this up right here and move this down. You can see how it hooks up there. This is a feature right here, and then you can drive this out, basically. It is a small car that these guys can drive. I'll show you that. You got little red headlights on the front. It does not have any rubber to go on the outside of this, but it's still really cool. Get the guns that hook on here. You can detach them and use them as weapons. The chair looks really cool on the back here. And if you take the guy off, got some sticker right there and you got a sticker right here too the car's pretty cool actually put the guy back in here and put him back inside of here unfortunately you cannot drive him back into it it's a little weird but you can see that this piece right here hooks into that and you, this is gold if you were wondering like a really shiny gold so it's pretty cool right here on the sides you got some guns got guns there looks pretty cool got these pieces onto the sides of the wheels and of course more flick missiles right there they actually work pretty well um, the other flick missile and uh, right here you got some control panels and stuff but this is actually a pretty like this is one of the most awesome features I've seen in our truck you can see this turret right here like most people think it's just a turret to go on the back of the truck but it is actually a detachable robot. You can turn this around. And it is a robot. Let me move his legs. It's actually a robot that steps out of the vehicle. I thought that was just really cool. I don't know about you guys. But uh, back to the truck right here. Uh, you can see there's some printing right here, or not printing, stickers. This piece is printing, this piece is sticker. Right there. I'm going to pause it and go to a different angle so I can show you what the really cool translucent piece looks like. Okay, so here's the other angle of it right here. You got this inside of here. So when I pull these down and take this out, it is a prison capsule. I thought that was pretty cool. So basically, you can take your alien minifigure open this up, throw them inside of there, trap them up and throw them in there. That is pretty cool. 
really like that feature. But there's a complaint over here. Why do they always have to have red sticking out in the middle of a set? There's always got to be some sort of stupid red piece sticking out somewhere. It's like in every LEGO set. That's basically a big complaint. Sorry, LEGO. I don't know why you have to do that in like every set, but whatever. Um, moving up, you got some stickers right here. You got these cool panels right here. Look pretty nice. You got stickers. These pieces are used like to go down like this. There's only supposed to be one of these actually right here. It looks really cool. I really like this truck. Let me show you some quick details of it before I go on to the robot. Right here, as you can see, there's like two windows right here that you can look through into the car. Stickers right there. There's just more stickers everywhere. Like the sticker sheet for this, I'll grab that really quick, it is really big really big so yeah the details on this are really nice you got guns and stuff just a really awesome car so let's move on to our robot so here is the robot and it is really cool it is got bendable legs if you were wondering they do not just swing around they're pretty hard to move actually got this right here so the legs move looks pretty cool so when you turn this you got rotation of the robot so you can turn it around when you go in the turret you got these two huge guns on the arms like these could be used in like war and stuff and as you can see I stuck his weapons up here these are supposed to go up here you got flick missiles on like everything in the set every vehicle has a, at least two flick missiles on it so I guess that's okay um, on the back nothing really you got this pretty cool satellite piece right here really like that let me hook the flick missiles back inside of here but uh, overall they did a really nice job in the spec I think you can see it moves down like this so it can just do any rotation and stuff so it's a really cool mech so that is basically it let's move on to our rating Okay guys, now to the rating of this set. It is a really, really cool set. It's just a few complaints, like a few small complaints. You gotta give this guy a crappy gun as usual. Really don't like that. You got flick missiles all over the place as a feature, I guess. But the mech is just awesome. The figures are great. Really cool. I don't like the red piece that is showing inside of here. Um, but there's not too many dead things. This vehicle's uh, sort of dinky, but it's really... I, I like how the claws go down and you can move it like this and stuff. That's pretty cool. So this is actually a pretty good set. So I'm going to have to give this a 9.6 out of 10. Just a little above a 9.5. It is a pretty good set. I really recommend it. It is new and if you want a review of it, it's pretty new and you'll probably get a lot of reviews and stuff on it. Good for investing out there. People who invest on Legos, this is really popular right now and it just came out so people are going to want to buy this all over the place so this would be a good thing to invest in if you want to do that so yeah that's basically it for this review guys look for more lego reviews rate comment and subscribe to my channel